Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a brilliant scotch game. This is the game between Dunbar and Choking, played in United States in 1925. Game started with e4. Black played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, e takes d4, knight takes d4, and bishop to c5, attacking the knight, and we have scotch game. White played bishop to e3, and now nowadays the most popular move in this position is queen to f6. Instead, black played d6. This is opening the way for the bishop to come into the game, but this is a mistake because now white will triple the pawns on c file. B takes c6, bishop takes bishop, and d takes on c5. White exchanged queens and this gives white huge advantage in the endgame. White now played c4 to further immobilize the pawns on the c file. Rook to b8 was played. The idea was to capture the pawn on b2 and what would you play now in this position if you had white pieces? Well, many people would play b3. Instead, white played knight to c3. It uh, looks like that white forgot that rook can take the pawn. Okay, so let's have a look at this position now. What would you play now if you had white pieces? That's one question. Another is, why did white allow black to capture pawn on b2? Well, this is the answer. Castling queen side check and rook is also on the attack and black resigned maybe th he thought that white can't castle because rook is controlling b file uh, black resigned in this position because after he moves king out of check white would capture the rook and that's winning advantage very interesting game thank you for watching this video and i hope that you enjoyed it